Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Imagine you have a brand new startup idea and you want to build it. Normally, this would take weeks of back and forth. What if you could go from zero to production ready UI in just a few minutes? That's where UX Pilot comes in. So UX Pilot is an AI powered design companion that takes you from idea to polished design all in one workflow. There's no longer need to juggle between multiple tools or wait days for iterations. With UX Pilot, you can think, design, and hand off to developers in no time. Before we jump in, a quick reminder, I share everything about UX and tech on my YouTube channel. If you're interested on this type of content, please hit the subscribe here so you won't miss any future content. So as a designer, what impressed me the most is really the seamless work process. Instead of going to Gemini or ChatGPT for like text generation and another place for image generation, with UX Pilot, you are able to do everything from idea generations to design iterations, getting a workshop together to narrow down the ideas to a specific high fidelity frame. It's all in one place. I think the seamless workflow is really powerful to me and also the level of details and flexibility is a huge plus where I think with many other tools that I often got stuck by the screen that I generated with AI and can't do much with it, where here you have both option to make adjustment within the platform and also export it to Figma with the seamless plugin where it allows you to make any adjustment or assemble prototypes easily in Figma. That is really valuable to me, which I think is very valuable to any designers. Let's dive into it. So first, let's open FigJam and create a new board. So here from the drop down menu, you can go to plugins and select UX pilot. It's going to open up this window and I'm going to select AI tools. So from here, so let's say I want to build an AI powered personalized fitness app. I'd love some help to generate the feature ideas. So what I can do is just copy and paste this text from my sticky notes to the prompt entry area and click set. There we go. With just a few seconds, it generated a couple of ideas from personalized workout plans to nutrition tracker to AI powered virtual coach, goal setting and progress tracking, well, meal planner and more. So from here, you can make adjustment to add it to the ideas or remove the ones that you don't like. To better organize the features, I'm going to put them into individual sticky notes. So I've got some feature ideas going on, but to build the app, I would like to lay out the information architecture so that I can see how those features and screens fit together. We can click back to full view and select diagram. You can select the tags or sticky notes, then click on generate diagram or write your own prompt. In this case, I'm going to write my own prompt to generate information architecture for a smart workout planner which is an app that creates personalized workout plans based on user goals, fitness level, and available time using AI to adapt and modify routines as user progress. Once I have the prompts in place, I'm going to tap on generate. There you go. In just a few seconds, it created this comprehensive information architecture for my fitness app from home screen to how this could break down to different tabs, such as user profile, workout plans, progress tracking, nutrition guidance, community features, and AI recommendations. It also breaks down into more details. What are some key information should go within each of those main tabs? You know, honestly, this is super helpful and it saves me hours of work to generate something like this. And it is mind blowing to me that UX Pilot was able to just create this flowchart in a few seconds. It might not be perfect, but it created a perfect starting point for me to continue and figure out the details for the IA information architecture of this app. So say that I have a good idea on a high level, the product I want to build. The next step, I would love to get my cross-functional partners buy in and run a workshop to figure out what are the key features we should focus on first. Usually, it takes a lot to run a workshop from preparing the materials to set up the right time frame, turning the goals into activities. Let's take a look at what UX Pilot can do. So in the plugin, there is an option here called workshops. So I'm going to select on that. So from here, you can simply explain what is your workshop goal and enter the time frame you have in mind, the number of participants, and just generate the materials. 
my workshop goals is mainly to define the MVP features to build that optimize both the user and business value, and also identify some key questions that we need to validate through research and so on. For the time, what I have in mind is something about two hours, so it's not too heavy, and we have roughly five participants, so I'm going to tap on generate. Wow, it's ready. So as you see, it generated the workshop activities and the menu with all the details based on my goals and criteria. So here I can just tap add to fake gem. It generated all those information from facilitator guide, like what to know before running a workshop uh, to the templates, like how do we identify the MVP features? It suggests this section for 15 minutes and some instruction with best practices and each segment for the participants to use. There are also activities planned around prioritizing MVP features. So for the team to figure out what are some low efforts, high impact features that we should focus on for the MVP version. Then it has defining success matrix and finalizing MVP features, user research questions to last but not least, an action plan. What are the next steps? This kind of work usually requires multiple days, tens of hours to put into, but with UX Pilot, you can have it in just a few seconds. So next, let's take a look at wireframes. So these days with the power of AI, I actually don't need to create wireframes as often, but if you're run into a case that you need to produce the wireframe, you can use UX Pilot, open this plugin and select design. Enter design, you have this option to create Hi-Fi UI and wireframes. So for now, I'm just gonna select wireframe. We're gonna select mobile, screens per generation. I'm gonna put one. So I would like to see how the dashboard would look like for this personalized workout plan. So once I have the prompt ready, just click on generate wireframe. There we go. It created this dashboard for my fitness app in just a few seconds. This is a great starting point. Okay, now that we have generated all those tags, diagram ideas for this product, how do we turn this into a hi-fi screens? So let's go to AI tools. I'm gonna select all the information we created and enter the prompt here to help me create a brief product requirements. So I'm gonna say create app requirement. So here I just got a summary of the app requirement. So I'm gonna copy and paste the text from here and then open UX Pilot. Here from the dashboard, you can click on design and add a new design. I'm gonna call it fitness app. So for the page context, this is where you can add some instructions for how you want the AI to generate the designs on this page. So I enter some details such as mobile app, light theme, use pastel colors, glassy, rounded corner, modern with intentional blank space and use the sensory font. I'm gonna do create. And from here, you can select Hi-Fi Designs, Mobile App for the screen type. And for the context, I'm going to paste the app requirement summary here. So once we have all the information ready in the context area, I'm going to turn on Deep Design so it can uh, so it can generate richer layout with less input and also turn on the max modes. It can generate larger, more detailed results paired with Deep Design. Um, you can tap Generate to generate the screen or use the auto flow that can help you generate a flow of screens. I'm going to select auto flow. As you see, it generated a key screens in a few seconds from a central hub to personalized workout plans to analysis of dietary needs, real time feedback on exercise and tools for setting daily fitness and nutrition habits, gamified features, community features. So if you want to adjust the sequence, you can just move it up or down. And if you don't want to create any of the screens, you can just tap on this icon to remove it. So from here, you can tap on generate. And just like that, it generated a whole series of high fidelity mockups in a few minutes. Let's take a look. So we have this homepage dashboard that provided a snapshot of today's progress, some workout planner, followed by nutrition analysis, the level of details is incredible. As you see, there are like different icons and progress bars used in different sessions. So some example of really cool features that I love is virtual coach. 
Like for example, here, the idea is this app could allow users to use their own camera to do a live analysis of their progress. Like this diagram accurately reflected the idea uh, where the users can simply use their camera and leverage AI, analyze where they are in their fitness progress. There are even some animated details um, are used here, for example, for this voice assistant feature. Um, this fun little animation visualizing the feature of real-time voice detection looks really appealing to me. So overall, I am super impressed by the level of details and the visual consistency with this Hi-Fi box generated in minutes. So next, say if I want to make some change, what you can do is select the screen you want to edit. And you will see this little pencil icon at the top where you can switch between global edit, section edit, or text edit. I really like this virtual fitness coach idea, but it seems like the button colors here are a little bit too random. Um, so what I want to do here is to adjust this section to use the same shade of purple. What I'm going to do is section edit and hover over here and enter my prompt. Use different shades of purple for the cars instead of green, yellow, and blue. Let's see how it works. Awesome, here we go. It switched the colors of all the icons, the cars here in this section, from shades of purple to blue instead of the prior color, which I like better. So from here, say that you want to make further adjustment manually, what you can do is export the design to Figma. So let me show you how to do that. So what you can do is select the screen you want to export to Figma and click on Save for Figma. Then you can open your Figma file. You can open plugins and select UX Pilot. It opens up this window where you can go ahead and select Retrieve in Figma and select the one that you just saved from UX Pilot. And there we go. This frame is added in Figma. It has all the components ready to be added. So you can just go from here and make adjustment to anything that you want in Figma. And once you're ready to hand off the design, it is super easy to copy and paste the code from UX Pilot. What you can do is select the screen and tap on view source code. It's going to open the source code on the right panel where you can copy and paste this into document and share with your edge partner in seconds. To complete the handoff, what I usually do is to generate a design spec. What you can do is select it and open a plugin, select AI tools, and enter the prompt, generate design spec for this. And there we go. It generated this design spec with all the details that you might need for this live analysis feature. Another thing I want to share with you is you can use UX Pilot to get feedback on your designs. What you can do is cut to review here where you can upload your design, drag and drop an image here or select a file, and then click on start the review. As you see, it started laying out the review of your design, critique of the design from different angles, from navigation to visual hierarchy, readability, interaction, feedback system, functionality, and even content organization. This could help you continue to improve your design and spark more creativity with fresh ideas. So this is all we have for today, from idea to a polished app in minutes. That is the power of AI with UX Pilot. So to try UX Pilot AI for free today, you can just click the link in the description and get started. That is all we have for today. If you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to leave me comments below. I would love to hear from you. I will see you next time. Bye.